Hey there, everybody. Big game hunter. John Cougar, Hunter Method Camp. Back at you. First off, got to answer a question. Sheldon wanted to know why PBR. That's probably the dumbest question I've ever heard in my life. PBR. Blue Ribbon. The best. It's the best. Judging by your profile picture, you're probably you're probably drinking White Claw. You start talking about all this cheap shit. It has nothing to do with the price. It's excellence. You know, I can't be feeding this swell, okay? It's got to be Blue Ribbon. The best. And by the way, Sheldon, thanks for that lame-ass... Uh, lead on where to find cougars yesterday. Went there. Oh yeah, there were some milfs. Absolutely. But all the dads were there too. Didn't get a single phone number. Went there, sat out in the sun, 90 fucking degrees. Four hours. The only thing I got was a case of swamp ass so bad it was like primordial soup. I swear to God, there were there were creatures crawling out on two legs when I got home. Then they about kicked me out. Yeah, you know, I was sweating so bad. Had, had dust in places I didn't think I could get dust. But anyway, I was out in the parking lot getting ready to get in the honey hauler. And you know... You got you got that much swamp ass. You got you got. I don't want that shit on my seats. So, you know, nosy Nancy over there. I'm stripping down so I can get in into the honey hauler, and not have primordial soup all over the place. I wanted to get in, turn air conditioning on, and air out my balls. Oh, you can't be taking your clothes off right out here. There's kids around. Well, I warned everybody. I told him, don't look. No. Nosy Nancy sees the sees the mullet. Of course she wants to look. Whatever. Never going back there again, hunting cougars. Strictly indoors in the summertime, I swear. Dude, that, that was stupid. But anyway. Sundays are horrible for cougar hunting. Most of the, most of the cougars are hung over or still still trying to recover from the thunder thimble. You know, they're 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 all at home getting ready for the week. So I'm just out cruising. Trying to see if there's any any leftovers laying around. Sometimes sometimes you can find a a stray one, you know, the ones that don't have jobs through the week, or, you know, the one, they're usually the ones that work the strip clubs on Monday afternoons, you know, not much to look at. Speaking of strip clubs, my friend Daryl, he runs a strip club. He's a good guy. He's a real good guy. Monday afternoons, he brings the homeless men in and gives them half price lap dances you know like he said it's it's just out of the goodness of his heart because even the homeless you know they 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 like to get the rocks off too you know and they can't they can't afford a full price lap dance so you know he, he's he's a good guy he really is and any of you ladies you're looking for looking for some part-time work you know covid he's been having trouble getting getting dancers back in there. If you're willing to work Monday through Friday lunchtime hours, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll hire you right up to seven months pregnant. Yeah, that's the kind of guy he is. You know, he's just a good guy. You know, always looking out for the community. Yeah, it's a pretty nice day today. Not as humid. You know, 
not sticking to my face like it was yesterday. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's going to be a good day. It's a good day. Headed over to the BFW. The Cougars there a little older. But, you know, Sundays, like I said, they're, it's, it's slim pickings. Slim pickings. Connie called me last night. I still think she wants to ride on the Thunder Thumb line. I just can't. just can't do it until she gets those tubes tied. Charlene got home yesterday. Had to get in the shower. Of course, she knew it. So she getting it twice this week. Yep. Thanks a lot, Sheldon. Never taking advice from you again. Might swing by and see Meth Jagger. Bring him a six pack of PBR. Not that shit that Sheldon drinks. Kind of cheer him up a little bit, you know. He ain't been out, out of the house in a little over eight months. I try to get over and see him once or twice a month, usually on Sundays. But his spirits are up. Yeah. Every once in a while, you know, if I get too many phone numbers at the bingo parlor, I'll, I'll text him one just to just to cheer him up, you know, send, sharing the love. It just sucks for him because now he, you know, he does make that phone call. They're gonna know where he lives. No, I, I'm not sure how much he's actually using it, but you know, it's the thought that counts. Gotta be on the lookout. Never know where a cougar might be. Out in the country here, you know, you get a lot. Some of these cougars, they're, they're hard working women. Yeah. Hands are kind of rough. That's alright. It's alright. Once you get a couple PBRs in them, and I always keep a little bacon grease next to the Always keep a little bacon grease in the glove box. Makes a good hand salve, you know. Kind of smooths things out. And you know they love the smell of bacon grease. Country girls. Their husbands are out on the tractor all day, or you know, milking cows. And they just need some loving. got to keep trying to do my, my community service. It, it makes my heart feel good. Yeah, there's a guy out on his tractor right now. Mark that place on the map. Drive by a few times, see what, see if he's got a cougar waiting at home. Like find me a cougar that go hunting with me. You know what I'm talking about? You know, kind of like a kind of like a wingman. One that she's already, you know, she's already been satisfied by the thumb, thunder thumble, and she wants to share the well. Go to the go to the bar with me and. Sometimes it's easier for one cougar to talk to another. And, you know, maybe she can steer in my direction. It's a thought. You know, you're always, you always got to be trying to think up new ideas, new ways of hunting. Not all of them work. 
but as long as you keep trying, that's what it's about, it's persistence. You got, you got 26 years of experience, I'm still learning new things every day. Jewish, Jewish cougars and the uh, bacon grease thing don't work. that in mind. Hopefully these videos will help some of you up and coming cougar hunters so you don't make the same mistakes I do. Like going to the ball field shouting. Honey haulers got really good at oh god damn it. Just, gotta get them better mount for that thing. There we go. Honey haulers got good air conditioning now. Booty snatcher don't have air conditioning. Don't need it with the T-tops. But at least in the honey hauler I don't have to worry about spontaneous pregnancies. Something. Yeah, got a little piece of brought in there for lunch. Fired up the grill. Made some beer brats. Yeah. Anyway, I think I'm gonna log off here. Sundays are slow. Gotta go.